All right, YouTubers, I keep seeing comments every day asking me why I shake and do all these different things, so I thought I'd bring to you a little bit of stuff about myself that obviously a lot of you people don't know. Those of you who've been following from motherboards.org, you guys kind of know my history and stuff, but for those of you who don't, I probably should just let you know who I am, where I come from, and like why things are the way they are. For those of you who follow me back at motherboards.org, you guys know I started out as a writer a long time ago, worked for PC Magazine for a long time, worked for PC Extreme, just had a bunch of enthusiasts, PC Enthusiast Magazine, I've done a bunch of writing for years and years and years, until I actually met Jonathan from TLD, which I met him about 12 years ago, and since that time, we worked together and did a lot of different stuff prior to him having the channel, and he's actually the person who pushed me into YouTube. So, for anybody out there, for some reason, who still thinks that I got fired from motherboards.org, you couldn't be clear. How can you fire me? from a company that is my fucking company. It's not happening. Those guys tried to screw me around and do the content and take my money. And if any of you guys have been around, you know the motherboards.org hasn't done shit in fucking years. Nothing. No videos, no nothing. I won the court battles. I got the money. They got to maintain the name because in all honesty, they did pay us a lot of money to get the name. So our business deal with them is they got the name. We worked together in a partnership and they developed the business. Well, the only thing they ever did was take money from the business. Development never happened. So the whole thing broke up. But around that same time, I got sick with chest cancer. So I had cancer for a few years. If you guys would have seen me actually before this time, I had long hair all the way down to here, full head of hair, and I was in a heavy metal band, and that was my whole spiel, my whole thing. Got cancer, lost all my head, so I started shaving my head bald because it was just easier than sitting there watch myself get sick every time I got injected with these chemicals, getting sicker and sicker and sicker. Well, I beat the cancer. That was okay, right? Sure, cool, we all think so, right? But then right after that, I found out I'm diabetic, and my doctor pretty much told me you're the most unlucky son of a bitch on the planet because he was like, cancer, I can cure. And diabetes, not so much. And I'll be honest with you guys, I'm a sugar freak. I love sugar. I love soda pop. I'll admit it. I don't like chocolate that much, though, which people might think is weird. I don't like chocolate. I love fruity things, though, man. You give me anything that has fruit in it, like, I love it. Anything baked with fruit, that's totally my thing. I love that kind of stuff. So being a diabetic, those two things don't go too, you know, hand in hand. So... Once I got diabetic, I started getting really, really sick. So during the time that I got sick, I really didn't take care of myself, and I admit it's my fault, and I've learned a lot of lessons since then, but I ended up getting both my feet amputated. You guys can see right here that I no longer have any toes. I have feet that are about you know a couple inches long, and the problem with that stuff is my feet get dry, and if you get a cut, the cut can almost like lead to get more stuff, because if you get a foot ulcer, anybody out there's diabetic knows what this is. It's the most likelihood of you getting your shit chopped off and getting you know, losing more of your leg, very, 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 very high. Luckily, I have I haven't got past that. I've still had my legs and I'm trying to maintain myself. Now, one of the main questions that I get though all the time on my channel is, hey dude, are you okay? You're shaking. When I was in the hospital, they couldn't put a regular IV into my arm. My veins had collapsed, collapsed, excuse me, completely. So I had to do this thing called a pick line. Well, when they put the pick line into me, they stuck it into my heart, piercing my heart and it caused severe nerve damage. It makes me shake all the time. It took me years to even learn how to hold my guitar right. It was really an ordeal. If I wouldn't have signed that little waiver saying, hey, no matter how we fuck you up, uh, everything's dandy on our side, you know, things would be a lot different. I could have sued these jerk offs, but no, they always make sure you sign a waiver signing your life away. And doing that, they gave me permanent nerve damage. It makes me sweat. It makes me shake. It all in all is just a really, really, really bad experience. I'm just telling you guys out there right now, if you have to have diabetes, you know exactly what I'm talking about. It's a hard road having that. And then dealing with this nerve damage on top of that, I shake all of the time. In fact, my doctors have told me a few times that they don't even think I'll live many more years. So for a long time, it isn't my channel like, you know, a lot of people leave comments and say, oh, you know, hey man, you know your channel's dying. My channel's not dying. It's more like I'm dying. That's really what it's more about. My body is starting to fail on me more and more and more. So if you're a fan of the channel, I can tell you right now, you probably won't see me for too many more years. I really don't think I'm going to live probably more than five more years. My health is bad. I can barely sometimes get up to do these videos for you guys. Like a lot of times G comes over to film it and he's got to wait just so I can crawl out of bed and do these videos. I'm in a lot of pain because of the diabetes. It's honestly hard for me to wake up and focus. It makes my vision blurry. Just all in all, a bad, bad scene. So if you guys out there are always asking those questions, that's what's going on with me personally. A lot of people don't really know what's going on, but those are the things that are happening in my life. The nerve 
damage, the diabetes, and plus, let's just face it, I'm no longer a spring chicken. I'm 52 years old now and I'm getting older, and as I get older, my health starts to fade a little bit more. And I know sometimes I make a little mistake here and there. I try to bring you guys the absolute best things, but I've never honestly claimed to anybody out there that I'm like a professor of tech or like I'm the most knowledgeable guru in the world. You've never heard me say that. I don't, you know, bring that to the table because I'm just a guy who likes computers and stuff like that. I used to be the most hardcore gamer in the world. I played games like literally night and day. My wife used to be pissed off at me all the time about it. My son was the same way for years. He's finally now growing out of that and not doing that. But before my son Aaron, that's all he did was play computer games 24-7. He didn't give a shit about his job. That's all he really did. And now he's finally grown up and was like, okay. But for me, it wasn't really about growing up and out of gaming. My vision just got so bad from the diabetes that looking at monitors that only had 60 hertz, I would play a video game for about a half an hour and then literally be throwing up. We had this VR thing. I don't know if you guys saw it in house. You brought this VR thing. We brought a couple from the table. Each one of those VR things, Jesus, the cameraman, he sits back there and plays them like all day long. He's like, whoopee. I played for 35 minutes. I threw up everywhere and had a headache for almost eight hours afterwards. So my vision from the diabetes and stuff doesn't, doesn't allow me to sit in front of a computer and play for as many hours as I like to. Believe me, I like to be sitting in front of my computer every time that nobody's here just playing computer games. But now I get an hour, maybe two hours in, I still start not really feeling too good and that's even on the fastest monitors out there. So I just wanna know that for you fans out there who have stuck with me all these years, I love you guys, I appreciate you guys. You guys know that I've given tons of stuff over the years away to you folks trying to just make, you know, some people out there get cool stuff. But at the end of the day, I'm just a guy I obviously, you guys know I have serious health issues with everything that's going on with me, my amputation, my diabetes, the nerve damage. It's honestly hard for me to be, you know, obviously the most, you know, outgoing and everyday making videos, but we're trying our best for you folks. So if you have questions about me, those are things you probably have never known about. So I appreciate you guys watching the channel. I love to see you guys on here. Hopefully I'll live long enough to see when VR actually is really VR. Cause let's just face it. VR is really just 3D gaming isn't it? I mean, let's face it. All the games in the past they called 3D gaming was not 3D. Now we have 3D gaming and they call it VR. That's life. Thanks for watching the channel. I love you folks. See you guys back on. If you have any questions more, please leave a comment down below. I'd be more than happy to answer any of your questions you guys have so that you guys can get to know me better. So peace out. I'm Elric. You've been watching Tech of Tomorrow. We'll see you guys back in the channel for obviously more tech.